Hello viewers and welcome to this edition of Global Vibes. My guest today is Pang Alad. And as you can see, uh, we are surrounded by um, so many beautiful brass bowls, gongs. And um, first and foremost, I want to just thank you for uh, having us in your beautiful, beautiful home. Um, and and uh, I want to learn as much as we can from you in the time that we have, all about sound healing. So thank you so much. Thanks, Pang. Rupa. So Pang, um, tell me, how did this journey start for you? How mm. were you inspired or motivated to go this way? It actually started maybe 10, 10 or so years ago. I'm a school teacher. Uh -huh. And I was always looking for something to help my students. And I had read about two things. One was nature and the other was sound. Oh. And then that led me to researching and investigating everything involving those two things. And I see in your card it says ancient sounds. So tell us a little bit about um, where were you trained from? How did you get your training? So initially I had met a man in town named Gary Savitsky and he introduced me to the Tibetan bulls, mm -hmm. the, the, the gold colored ones here. And then him and I, we had learned together and we had gone to Toronto and to New York and we learned from a man named Satcha from mm -hmm. India. Mm -hmm. And you have also three very, very uh, poignant and uh, words which says breath, sound and forest. Obviously, you've tried to bring together the sound and forest. What does breath reflect? What does that bring into it? So over the years, I realized that those were the three things that could make a difference in your well-being. Mm -hmm and in your students as well, and in my students and in myself. So what happened was when I started looking at those three things, I thought, well, I have to do them for me, and it just changed me. Breath is something that also I do. So I'm a breath, breath work facilitator, wow. and we do different kinds of breathing, and it's so, so powerful. And forest... Obviously, mm -hmm. I run a forest school and I also do forest therapy, which is an ancient Japanese practice, and then sound. And you can see all these Beautiful. instruments. Mm -hmm. They're from all around the world. Mm -hmm. I did travel around the world when I was in my 20s and I started collecting things like rattles and the bowl, that bowl right in front of you is this my one. very first bowl. Mm -hmm. It was from Nepal. Okay. Mm -hmm. And there's different things here from Asia and all over. This one is from, uh, I think it was from Sedona. And they make, all of them have different kind of sounds. Yes, oh yeah. yeah. And the gongs. Is there a, a pattern or a sequence that you follow when you're playing any of these instruments or equipments? When I'm playing for a group, mm -hmm. It's very intuitive. I, I usually create somewhat of a base of a plan. That's how I started out. Now I play more intuitively. I just kind of feel what is needed. I, I get messages that just is like, this is the right sound and I just really, really feel. Oh. Also the music kind of plays a story. So there'll be a lot of more louder sounds and then it'll taper off into more of a, a relaxing Soft, scene. Relax. and so the idea is though that people will see a vision they have their eyes closed and they might be lying down and they they make a story their own story in their mind I'm, I'm really getting so drawn into your you know just the way you're explaining it's so calm and so serene as it is and, and I can just totally try and imagine or understand how the sound and, and when you play any of these, how they would make me feel so calm. And I, I guess that's where you say that it is a healing process as well. It can mm -hmm. help aid healing. 
Yeah, all of these instruments, they carry a very strong vibration that lasts and resonates for a really, really long time. And I, there is a lot of research. Uh -huh. Like you can look up McGill University or UCLA. There uh -huh. There's a lot of hospitals in Germany, but I don't really know the research, to be honest. I mean, I've looked at it, but what I have, what I have experienced is over the years, uh, what I've witnessed is people having profound changes from babies to seniors. I've been at the hospital in the recreation room with like 50 seniors and watching how they just, they fall asleep, they melt away. I've had very busy, busy corporate people coming. Mm. And by the end, they just, they just come. Can, I, can I stay? <laughs> I also do a lot of experimentation with students, mm -hmm. young, young children. And that's how you started. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And people say, my children, they can't sit still. And they just eat this up. So I'll put the bowls on their on their bellies, on, around them, or just even playing them. And just witnessing the change, mm -hmm. seeing the change that happens. And, and we talk about vibration with the mm -hmm. kids. Mm -hmm. And, and with, with adults too. So we, what we, we experience is we can feel. Yeah. I like the bowls because it's, it's such a visual, mm. a visual thing for people to look at. And you can also see the bull moving, mm -hmm. but instantly you feel it with your mind. So it's not as like out there as some other techniques. Like the sound is something that everybody can embrace. I know it's so powerful, right? The mm -hmm. sound of the baby laughing or the water, you know, the, the spring, the rain. Sound is so powerful. What are you going to be showing us today? What are you demonstrating us today? Well, I thought that I would just play some of the different instruments right. for you. What I do a few different things. Mm -hmm. So I do individual sound healing right. for people. So a person would lie down and I would play music and put the bowls around them and on them. Mm -hmm. And it can be healing for the physical self as well as the mental mm -hmm. I also play for large groups. So I've played with maybe at the most a hundred people. Oh, like in a big center. In the gathering, okay. Mm -hmm. So, and it doesn't matter if it's five people or a hundred, the sound still carries. Will carry for mm -hmm. And so if I'm doing a group, I would play all of these instruments and just, they call it a sound bath. Mm -hmm. You're not going in the bath you're just lying down mm -hmm. and the music kind of washes over you mm -hmm. is it widely practiced sound healing how how um how well received it is I, there is a lot of science behind it for sure i feel like it's growing it's growing yeah. when i first started it it was it was hard to find now mm -hmm. if you go on google you'll find so many things mm -hmm. i think because of the pandemic a lot of people are looking okay. more for wellness, mm -hmm. and that's really helped. It's like when I, it's like forest school. When I started forest school, there was education behind it. Now people hear it, hear forest school, and it's almost a normal thing. Same with the word mindfulness. When mm. I first started practicing that, everyone said, well, what are you teaching? What, what are you teaching? Yeah. Now it's almost like everybody knows that word. Mm -hmm. I think sound is kind of, becoming the new yoga it's it's every yoga studio now mm -hmm. a lot of them have gongs in oh, them really? yeah they're starting to and mm -hmm. I almost think that this will be on every mm -hmm. in every in every city I know this is uh, used in my yoga class every every uh, few minutes they'll I hear the teacher play the monotony or what? I don't know. It's beautiful. Yeah, these are tingsha. Mm -hmm. Tingsha bells. We, we, we play this a lot um, when we are chanting or when we are uh, singing um, music in, in our home place. And this is widely used. Thank you. Those ones are actually from the Vedic, the mm -hmm. Vedic center. Yeah. yeah. And these ones, these ones are a little bit heavier mm -hmm. and they are from uh, India, these ones. Mm -hmm. 
You can see the symbols yeah. in the back. Yeah. <laughs> so where do we start today? What what is the why? What what are we? Um, what is the energy that you're getting? That which instrument or which equipment would you start? With? Well, I always want to show everybody okay. whenever I do a talk or whenever I'm with the kids, I always start with this bowl. Oh, okay. This just this bowl. And when I, when I show it to the kids, I ask the kids if they can feel the vibration. And we talk about how we are vibration, everything. Everything is vibration. And just because we can't see it moving, and then we talk about how we make our hands or we get the kids to do this. And, um, and then I get them to watch and just to feel. Would you like to feel this one? Sure. And so I tell them to stay, okay. stay where they are, yeah. and don't move your hands. So don't okay. feel with your hands, you're going to feel with your heart. Okay. Okay. So, and I, I will move it over a little bit, That's fine. too. Okay. okay. <sighs> This is my favorite bowl. Yeah. So these bowls, they are made up of seven different metals. And they're meant to correspond with the frequency of the planets. Mm -hmm. So gold for the sun, uh, silver for the moon. There's mercury, and what else? We have iron and tin, copper is aligned with Venus. And did I say seven? Not sure. Okay. I can still yeah. feel that vibration. Yeah. So I also have this bowl. Mm -hmm. This bowl is a, a temple bowl. Mm -hmm. So the gold ones, they they all have different sounds, and they they are mostly in Tibet, mm -hmm. India, Nepal, and then this one is more in China temples, okay. uh, Japanese temples. This one, um, the Buddhist monastery in Thunder Bay, they use this one in, in their meditation. And I, I love this bowl. These ones here are crystal bowls. They are more, they say the new age. Yeah. So this one is resonates with the crown chakra uh -huh. up here. So they're all tuned to different areas of our energy. This one's the heart chakra. These bowls are more pure tones, whereas the the Tibetan bowls are more harmonious, so they have different sounds in them. And you can play the bowls in different ways. Navajo flute. And I play, I integrate a lot of these chimes and mm -hmm.
For some reason, everybody loves this. This is an ocean drum. It has beats? Mm-hmm. Now with the kids, I'll usually put it upside down so they can watch the... When I'm playing sounds, typically everyone's eyes are closed. Yeah. So it's a story that's painted and different experiences happen. A lot of people share with me, they go back to their childhood or they start to see past people, maybe people that have passed away in their lives. Sometimes people will see different visions, colors, like Mandela yeah. images, or they might just have like a whole story play for them. Hello viewers and welcome back to Global Vibes. And today we are um, spending this beautiful, beautiful time. I, I can't tell you how uh, drawn I am to all the sounds that you are creating, uh, Pang. So Pang is our guest. She's a sound healer, if I may say so. Yeah, sound therapist. You work with students, you work with children, you work with uh, corporate, uh, corporate offices, university, colleges, you go to uh, hospitals, you go to places and you play the sound of the bowls and the gong. So let's play something for, please play something for us today. Sure, I would love to. Thanks so much. Okay, I'm going to start with these. And if you okay. want to join me, Rupa, sure. please sure. join in. Whatever your heart, play yeah, from your know. heart. Okay, thank you.
Thank you so much, Pan. Thank you so, so very much. It was such a beautiful experience. I was, you transported me to some other place. My God, thank you so much. There's so much to draw from these beautiful sounds. Thank you. So very nice. I wish we didn't have to wrap up. 
but you have thank to you stay so. more. <laughs> <laughs> but thank you so very much for um, giving us um, a glimpse, a very small glimpse. Um, if, if I want to learn or if there are people out there who want to learn or experience the sound healing more, how do we connect with you? Do well, you have a website or something? I, I do. It's, it's my four school website. I'm also on Facebook, not that much, but I inspire to be looking more often. They can also email me and contact me to see all the different things that, that I'm offering. And you do train people, you're teaching people as well. I'm, I'm teaching people, I, I'm, I'm actually doing coaching as well. Yeah. We do a lot of breath work, a lot of just wellness activities for all kinds of groups and and also individual, yeah. if somebody wants an individual healing session. Thank you so much, Brad. Thank you. Till we meet again, stay well, dear viewers. Mm -hmm.